Good morning. I'm Jerry Chris. I'm uh, from La Pine, Oregon. Uh, we're going to do a, uh, a lake uh, fly for you now, a, uh, a beadhead, gold beadhead calabatus. Um, you can make it actually any color bead you want, uh, whatever. Uh, sometimes it works, you know, black one will work, a gold uh, seems to work for, for this. Uh, we're going to put the bead on. I'm, I'm going to show how I do that. Hopefully it, it, we, we get through it. Um, just I, I put the hook, so the point is up. I grab the bead with my uh, tweezers, which I'm doing out of the camera view probably. And we come up here and we're just going to drop it right on. Then I grab the hook with the tweezers. And then I slide it up. I, once it, if I grab the bead, the, the hook with the tweezers, then the bead never drops off. Well, almost never. So now we have our that bead up there. We have that in. Okay. We're going to use a, a tan to uh, a, uh, a rusty done, what they call rusty done thread. Just going to put some thread in about halfway. Pull that off. We're going to put a little lemon duck tail in this. take a segment out and then we're going to take my fingers and I'm going to run my fingers down the sides of the feathers and I'm going to fold that bunch in half. One is it gets a little more rigid and two I get good color all the way around. Okay it's a little trick uh, it's called just, just folding. Now I'm going to take my thread back now to the rear all the way to the rear. Just about to the hook, hook point, we're going to go back one more wrap, which will put me back just about the middle, between the barb and the point. Now we're going to put this tail is, is really kind of short, and you want to keep the wraps really right on top. And right one, that's, that's two, three, and we're going to keep them right there, because this uh, the rest of the lemon duck is going to go over to make give us a little darker back on the calabatus. Now, if you if you have trouble doing this, I have no problem with you attaching, you know, pulling this up, attaching another material, and doing something to make a to make that dark. Um, it it really doesn't. Uh, it's not going to hurt anything. However, you you make that happen. Okay, I just readjust that a little bit. Now I'll push that bead forward. Now I'll take a wrap in front of this. I'm going to attach some gold wire. Now this is a this is off a wooden spool, and you can find these. This, this is uh, a standard fine gold wire, but you'll see that see the color on that is kind of uh, tarnished in that. Well, I put this out in the weather on the south side of the southwest side of the house, and I just put it out on the railing, and I let it rain on it, and I let the weather beat it up, and I like the sun to, to cook it. And it takes maybe about six months, maybe maybe less than that, sometimes maybe it's about two and a half months during the summer. And you start to get this nice kind of old antique color. Um, I like that color. Uh, it takes some of the flash out of the, out of the gold. And I think it fishes better. Okay, just a, just a theory. So now I'm going to put the wire in. And I'm going to put a little dent in my wire. You see a little bend? And when I put this against the thread, I don't have to touch that end or anything, and that just lays there. Um, it won't come out on you. Wind that forward. Now I'm going to wind back. It's all right if we get some, some wraps in here. Um, this fly is, is, is being fished just, uh, just below the surface on a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a basically a dry fly line on about a 22-foot leader, really, uh, and just... It sinks at its own rate, and um, that's how that's how we fish it. And we try to find a depth at which it gets hammered. Uh, we're just going to take a hair's ear dubbing now. This one happens to have a little sparkle in it, uh, not much, but it, you don't you don't have to have the sparkle. Um, doesn't really uh, matter much. Uh, this just happens to be one that uh, one that I have have with me today, and it and it works. It, I haven't sparkle or not sparkle. I don't find any difference in how it fishes. 
So we're going to put this on. We're going to be a little, a little rough dubbing on this. It's not going to be a... Uh, Oh, perfect. I'm going to come forward and then we're going to get up here in the front. We're going to leave a little gap between the, the bead and the, and the dummy. You see that's kind of rough. Okay, and that's okay. We're going to trim it down a little bit. If you, if, if you want to make it a little finer, you can. Uh, I kind of dub it and then, and then clean it up afterwards. Uh, the hair's ear is, is kind of rough, so you get a, a rough dub of it. Um, I have some people that, that tie this with a dry fly, dry fly dubbing uh, in, a, in a tan to a calabatus color, and that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So now we're going to pull this. We're going to take this wire and put one wrap behind that piece that we have standing up. And now we're going to lay it down, and we're going to start pulling that forward. Because we're not making a shell back particularly. We are just causing a, a little darker color on the back of the bug. Now I'm going to take the wire and wrap it in with some hard wraps right in the thorax area. Trim it out with the scissors. Uh, old scissors, by the way. That wasn't my good tying scissors. Now I'm going to leave that sit up in the air because uh, that's going to be that's going to be my back. Now, if you want to put in and make a flashback, you can do that. You can use a, a mylar. Um, you can use any a crystal flash, uh, anything you like. Uh, you want to make a flashback. You, this is the time to clip that out and make your flashback. Um, you can do that. Um, but we're just we're just going to do this one. Now we're going to take. The hair's in the hair's ear again, and in the instructions you'll see that you want to go back in the same color or darker. So if I wanted to put a darker thorax in here, this would be the time to do that. So now we'll put a little, fill to get a little more material, and we will build a little thorax. So we're going to make a little fat thorax in here. I can already tell I'm going to be a little lighter material, so I'll add a little more. Pulling in tight. You see we're getting a little fat there. Well, that's that's what these, these bugs have, that look. Now, again, I'm going to trim out some of this excess. It's the proportions of this that get right. It just, it looks like the bugs when they're in the water. And the gold bead just adds, gives us a little, little extra. Now, I'm going to pull that flash. Pull not the flash, I'm going to pull that extra lemon duck right back over the thorax. Kind of a soft wrap. Put two little soft ones in and then pull it and straighten it up. And then pull down. And then that'll stay right on top. And one more and we're in here. Now, if you wanted to, to shorten up this process, you could split these off right now and drag these back and use those for legs. I don't like it. It's a little too fragile and they're a little too fuzzy for me. Okay. So now we have it to there. Now we're going to take a partridge feather and we're going to take, we're going to go on the gray side. And that's another difference if you use the partridge lace. You go to kind of this gray black barbed feather. That's what we're going to use for the legs. And all I'm going to do is I got it all cleaned up and I'm going to cut the center out. Get up here my finger here. I'm just going to reach my scissors in here and I'm going to snip it. And you see now I have, a, I have a V sitting in there. Now I'm going to take my tweezers because this will make probably three flies. And I'm going to pinch right in the middle of the V. Like so. And then I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to drag that back and get my leg how many I want. Basically we put about three on either side. So you see that now I have my legs. So I have that pinched. Now I'm gonna let it go, still looking pretty good. 
Now I can lay that right up on top, right where I had my tie-off point, spread them down the sides a little bit, a little soft wrap right behind the bead, and you'll see that kick up a little bit. Another soft wrap, and then pull right at you. Two, three. Straighten up a little bit. Reach down with a fine tip. Scissors were fine with these fine tip. These real long fine tips work really, really well for this kind of work. We're going to flatten this thread out because we're going to try to pull down those little stubs that are sticking up as much as we can. And we'll tie this thread off right back behind, nice and tight now, right behind the bead. Drive that bead right up against the eye of the hook. Now, a little trick, if I wanted to add a little lacquer to that, I could really mess this fly up by driving lacquer in there. So if I get a little lacquer on my bobkin, or this is an old shish kebab stick, I have lacquer sitting right there on my thread. So now when I come up here and I drive this in nice and tight, I'm lacquering that already without putting a big drop in there. And that will not come apart. Up, snip that, and we'll turn that over. And there you have beadhead calabatus. Like I said, we fish it off of about a 22 foot leader off of a dry line. Just let it sink and just little short strips back and see what happens. And this is a 14, by the way, and you can tie it all the way down to an 18.